Let us talk about surface integral for flux. The flux of a vector field like if across an oriented surface like S in the direction of N with S being part of a level surface of G of X, Y, and Z equals to C is the double integral of f dot the gradient of g divided by the magnitude of gradient of g dot p dA. And here we are adding a plus minus sign which is related to, let's put it here, related to the normal vector n, this normal vector n is defined as plus minus the gradient of g divided by the magnitude of gradient of g dot the unit normal vector p to the region r. over one example to feel more comfortable about what's happening here. In this example, we have the following scenario. Question says, find the flux of the vector field given to us as zero, y, z, and z squared. Outward, toward through the surface S cut from the cylinder Y squared plus Z squared equals to one Z is positive by planes, X equal to zero and X equals to one. Very good. So since they have an outward normal field on S, we're going to use the positive sign. So this is gives us the positive sign. We need to calculate the gradient of G, the magnitude of gradient of G, the P, and do the calculation. So we have the double integral of F, which is 0, YZ, and Z squared dot now for the gradient of g, g of x, y, and z is defined as y squared plus z squared. So the gradient of g is 0, 2y, 2z, and the gradient of g dot p is equal to
zero two y and two z dot our p is going to be parallel to z axis zero zero and one so the gradient of g dot p is two z well the magnitude of g gradient of g and p is equal to two z so so far we have dot zero two y two z divided by two z and dA. So the flux, the double integral over region R is going to be zero times zero, zero plus um, two y squared z plus two z cubed divided by two z d. Let us do the division here. We get the double integral over r. Um, we get y squared plus z dA. And we have z squared. But note that y squared plus z squared is equal to 1. So here you have the double integral 1 dA. And here, since uh, we are taking the integral dA, we have our cylinder y squared plus z squared equals to 1. And cut it by these planes, x equal to 0 and x equals to 1. And this guy is equal to X is bounded between 0 to 1. Our y is bounded between negative 1 to 1 and dA. This guy gives us, well, 0 to 1 dx times negative 1 to 1 dy, which is equal to 2. So the flux is 2. If you want to take a look at the graph, uh, let me erase this part of the board. The graph behaves like this. So if we have our x-axis, then y-axis, then z, the cylinder is moving along x-axis. So if you want to look at the portion of our cylinder, And here, we're just completing this. Just move a little bit further to have a nicer graph. Okay, perfect. This x equals to one x equals to zero, so here you have this portion, and you're looking at the region down here. The projection in xy plane is going to be this area here. Sure, it's nice and similar to the rectangle. So here you have one, 
And here you have negative one, as you can see, one times two is equal to two. The flux of this vector field, since it's outward, so you're going to use a positive sign through the surface S, which is cut from the cylinder, y squared plus c squared equals to one, z is positive, and by planes, x equal to zero and x equals to one. When z is equal to zero, the projection in x, y plane gives you z equals to y equals to plus minus one. That's how we get plus minus one.